When a party authenticates an object for evidence, it's commonly referred to as laying a foundation. But what if that foundation is laid on shaky ground? In United States v. Johnson, we'll see whether the authentication requirement for evidence could be satisfied by a witness who was only pretty sure about his testimony. Larry Johnson and Edwin Papes were drinking alcohol one afternoon in Blackfoot, Idaho. Later that day, Johnson and Papes went to Johnson's house, located in Fort Hall Indian Reservation. At Johnson's house, a fight broke out, and Johnson struck Papes and another person with the blunt end and handle of an axe. Papes sustained serious injuries. Five days after the attack, police seized an axe from Johnson's house. Because both Johnson and Papes were Indians, Johnson's case was subject to federal jurisdiction. The United States charged Johnson with two counts of assault. At trial, the government called Papes as a witness. During Papes' testimony, the United States offered a long-handled axe into evidence. Papes stated that he was pretty sure that the axe the government offered into evidence was the same axe that Johnson used to hit Papes. Papes also testified that he saw the axe in Johnson's hand and that Papes was personally familiar with this specific axe because Papes had used the axe in the past. The axe was admitted into evidence over Johnson's objection. Johnson was convicted on one count of assault. Johnson appealed, claiming that there was an insufficient foundation or authentication to admit the axe into evidence through Papes' testimony. Johnson also argued that the axe was in a different condition than it was at the time the axe was taken from Johnson's house. 